All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 film called The Equalizer 3, starring Denzel Washington. Here's the plot. So, uh, since giving up his life as a government assassin, Robert McCall finds solace in serving justice on behalf of the oppressed. Now living in southern Italy, he soon discovers his new friends are under the control of a local crime boss, as events turn deadly. Now here is some of the cast. All right, now I absolutely love the first one, but only liked the first half of the second one. It was kind of forgettable, to be honest. But this was a fantastic film. They really went all out with the final send-off. Uh, the many uh, long movement, free-handed movement shots was excellent and smooth as silk, which a lot of free-handing shooting these days tend to be not anywhere near as close to the Always too shaky, there was also many automatic camera movements done on the Hollywood camera machines that had to uh, had a cool effect. The ones that slide and the, the ones that I'm more particular talking about is that they do, you could tell, is they have it on an arm. And I don't know what the technical terms for these things, but it was on an arm and they can like a remotely twist it and go up and down on a, a you know, kind of a rail type of thing. Daniel's acting skills are always top notch. He isn't just a great action star like a lot of them, like Arnold, Jason Statham, and Stallone. He also goes as far as to give you that body movement details. The little ticks just adds to the what the character he portrays is going through and filling in every scene. I love that we got kind of a reunion between Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanny. Uh, Fanning. Uh, uh, she was a little girl in Man of Fire. That's specifically what uh, I'm referring to. Um, I don't know what came out. It definitely came out sometime in the early 2000s. Um, and it just kind of felt like, you know, there's a little bit of reunion to it. Even though she had more of a lesser known or smaller part than he did. And that's great because I'm, I'm really glad that they went out of their way to kind of keep it towards true to the the franchise um where they focus more way more on the main character because i've seen sequels in certain franchises where they tend to try to put an equal amount of light on both characters despite the soul of the franchise was around one character now here's my rating i'll come back to my thoughts Now, from my understanding, this is Denzel Washington's uh, kind of uh, a movement away from these type of films. Uh, at least that's what I read quickly. Um, he is, I think, over 50 or in his 60s. And he has been going, you know, this can't... You know, when you get past a certain age, you can't do these certain type of films. Um, even if the stunt coordinator does them, it just, it's still... A, you have to do a certain amount of things... And I don't even know if he's just referring to these films or just Hollywood in general. Because I think there was someone that was talking about how they're retiring. Oh, that was um, Marky Mark. But I really don't like Marky Mark, uh, a.k.a. Mark Wahlberg. But, uh, you know, it's just like he makes this point to that in general, again, that these films uh, and the amount of acting that go in them take a lot out of you. So, uh, you know, just a lot of respect for actors that do that. They go with an extra mile. Or even do this in general. Uh, but, uh, yeah, overall, at, by the end of the film, I was very satisfied with who got. Um, again, I don't remember the last film, the second one. So, I don't remember a lot of stuff in that story. Um, I mean... By the end of this, the one thing that I had an issue with is I wish they would have expanded more or at least told us what uh, his backstory was. I th There's a small possibility that 
they did that in the second one because what I do slightly remember is them doing uh, have characters that are kind of from his past. So I don't re again to remember. So you know it's, it's that kind of thing that maybe they did, maybe they explained it, or and maybe they only explained a little and they needed to span a little more. And also that's not a big deal. This was uh, it, it was a, a really good build up to it, and definitely a lot of a, a good amount of action, but not overbearing with it you know like it wasn't like no john wick uh type of 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 non-stop kind of thing there was definitely a long detailed story to it given to his character at his age and the way he portrayed it he definitely was betraying himself as actual his age you know it's just kind of like i i'm this character i'm getting i'm old i am dealing with all this mental stuff and i'm just kind of just looking for somewhere to settle down uh, but yeah, so let me know what your guys' thoughts on this. Uh, apparently, this wasn't in theaters very long. I think for like a month or two, which is kind of sad. Um, I mean, it's still in theaters, but the thing is, is it being released digitally is not a good sign, which I don't understand. Um, maybe it's because people are not going to the movie theater anywhere as much as they used to. Um... But, I mean, it is what it is. I, I, you can interpret it in any way you want. Uh, but remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Uh, spread the love most importantly. Skull.